Good morning, everyone. My name is Mike. I am a behavioral designer at Vimy. And this morning, I'm here to share with you about three minutes on Chinese New Year, reciprocity biasing, and how you can use reciprocity to sell more. So uh, let's start with Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year is a big deal here in Southeast Asia. Many people of Chinese descent in the region. Um, one of the big customs for Chinese New Year is the exchange of gifts. So if you have friends, partners, colleagues who are Chinese, uh, be sure to be ready with a gift for them on the 25th. Uh, as a side note, you want to avoid anything which has sharp edges. Gifts with sharp edges are a bad omen in Chinese culture. They indicate that you want to cut the relationship. Uh, the exchange of gifts is a private example of reciprocity. Reciprocity is this idea that if you do something nice for me, I want to do something nice for you. Reciprocity is fundamental to the human experience. In fact, evolutionary psychologists have identified reciprocity as existing in all social primates. And it is so basic to our experience that it surfaces in children under the age of three. This makes a lot of sense because this idea that if you do something nice for me, I want to do something nice for you is important to cohesion in groups. And we know very well that human beings are social animals. So uh, how can you use reciprocity for, uh, for marketing? Uh, you actually experience reciprocity in marketing all the time. Every time you go to the supermarket and you get a free sampler, that is an example of reciprocity. It's actually very effective. Psychologists have identified on research in chocolate shops that when you take a free sampler from a chocolate shop, you are 24% more likely to purchase in that shop. That's a very big upside for a very small cost for that manufacturer. Um, how do you use that when you're dealing with a service company like mine or like my, like my customers? Uh, we can't be giving around chocolate to everyone. So uh, it's important to understand that reciprocity is at its abstract, this idea that if you do something nice for me, I want to do something nice for you. And an easy way to leverage reciprocity in services is say you give somebody a proposal while they're considering the proposal, you come back to them with a second proposal. In the second proposal, you improve your offer. So you offer them more features, more service for the same price. By doing that, what you've done is you, that you've now given them something more than they expected and you've created a sense of indebtedness. You have to understand that reciprocity is a cognitive bias, which means that it works across the board on all humans. It's part of how our operating system up here is wired. Um, so that's pretty much it for reciprocity biasing for today. I just want to end this video by showing some reciprocity. I want to say thank you to Claire Suchet, who is the managing director of um, LRParis.com here in Southeast Asia. LRParis.com are the leading provider of branded experiences and corporate gifts uh, globally. They do the gifts for the White House. They do the gifts for Rolls-Royce. Here in Thailand, they do the gifts for Siam Piwat. And I want to thank Claire for the trust she's put in us and for working with us over the years. If you want to learn more about reciprocity, I can highly recommend this book by uh, Robert Cialdini, Persuasion. Cialdini is the most eminent psychologist studying how to use psychology for marketing living now. And that's it for me. See you at the next video. Thank you very much.